<clears throat> Hello, folks. <laughs> I'm so quiet. <laughs> Hello. It is. It feels more quieter. It than does feel usual. quiet. It's because we're not. Yeah, I don't know. Not warmed up. We missed we're not, one week and we're all messed we're up. We're all messed up. So welcome back. Sorry about last week. We, we got here. we got busy. And we were sad. We tried to plan a time to do the podcast. And it just I just didn't, didn't show up. Um, <laughs> you were on top of things. I was like, I'm going to LA and I don't got time. You can find somebody else. Replace me for one week. I know. <laughs> and I didn't even do that. I was like, no, we'll just wait. Let's just take a week off. I had just gotten back from Ellensburg, hanging out with my family and I was getting ready to go to LA for Hennecon! Yeah! A henna convention, and it was amazing. So tell me about it. How many days were you there? Thursday to Sunday night. That's such a long time. It was so amazing. That is awesome. And I had a king size bed hotel room all to myself. Oh, I slept and... like a king. <laughs> <laughs> And who did you not bring? Your daughter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, Ryan. <laughs> no, Ryan. I was like, wow, was I supposed to take somebody? <laughs> no, no, no. Shoot. It just, I thought maybe you would mention that. On top of having a king-size bed, you, oh, didn't, yeah. have, you didn't have anyone usually, to take care of. Usually my daughter, Ryan, sleeps in bed with me. Not. She starts off in her own bed, mm-hmm. and then halfway through the night, she's sneaking in with me. And I'm, like, pushed <laughs> to the corner of my bed, and she's like... She's a three-year-old who sleeps like a starfish. <laughs> so, so I have to sleep like a sliver on the end of my bed. And, oh, no. This time it was Mama's turn to sleep like a starfish yeah. in a king-size bed. Oh, that's so nice. That is so nice. I don't have a king-size bed, but I remember you making fun of me when I got my bed. Is it full? It's Yeah. That's not as bad. <laughs> For some reason, when you first told me about it, I thought it was a twin. I was like... You're a grown woman. Like, get, yeah. <laughs> get a queen size bed. <laughs> because you helped me move into that one place and I, I was unfolding my bed, took it out of the box, and you were like, You got a, you got a full? Why didn't you just get a queen? This is coming <laughs> from the person that's also had a queen size bed since she was in first grade. <laughs> exactly. So, it was a little bit of a shock. A full still feels huge, and I only sleep on one side of it. So, <laughs> to don't, each their own. Yeah, don't ask me why. That's just how I am. Um, Hennecon. Yes, was tell me more. Amazing. I don't, where do I begin? So I was kind of nervous because I started doing henna in February. And then I found out a couple months later about Hennecon and was like, I'm just going to jump all the way in. Yeah. I'm doing it. Yes. I bought my ticket and then plane ticket and then hotel. Hotel was very last minute. Um. I like went to book it online a month before I left. That's not terrible, but I mean that is pretty. It's pretty late for I, a, a conference being at a hotel. Okay, yes, yeah. I'm surprised. Did they have even? Did they have room for you? Online, or? no. They said they were all booked, and so I oh. I called, and they were like, "Oh yeah, we have like a section for everyone that's going to the convention." Oh, nice. And they had like a few rooms left, and that's why I got a king size. Yeah, Mm -hmm. because it was probably... It was a little more expensive, but in the end, worth it. Mm -hmm. I love hotels. Ah, so much fun. I love being away from home and having someone else bring me fresh fresh towels and make my bed for me. Yeah, (laughs) I did not reuse my towels. I wasted water. (laughs) I was like, a new towel. day. (laughs) Yes. I was living life. Uh So... I, my parents and a few other people were like worried. They're like, you're just going to go by yourself. You don't know anyone. Mm-hmm. Oh, I met so many people. I was, so, it was kind of hard memorizing names, but mm-hmm. I met a lot of good friends and the henna community is so welcoming. And I did henna on a lot of people there. I got a ton of henna. You oh. barely have any space left. Yeah. Love skin. It's so perfect. This is amazing. I'll have to post a picture on Instagram so yeah, our viewer can see. Yeah, our viewer. <laughs> our listener. Our one listener. <laughs> yes. We're talking to you, Miranda. Miranda, <laughs> shout out. Thanks for being on two weeks ago, <laughs> by the way. 
Um, um, so. And then you practiced a bunch too. Like, yeah. I have henna also that she did on me that looks. My new favorite style is Art Deco. Yes. I want to be known as the Art Deco henna woman. Yes. Let's, I'm making it happen, guys. Alex Deco. Oh my God. I love it. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to stop you're for a minute because I was so excited. You're like, actually, yeah. <laughs> my henna name is. Wait for it, folks. Alex Hennera. <laughs> I think it's the funniest thing, but I told a few people at the Hennacon and they were like, oh, and I was like, it's like Alexandra. It's funny. No, and it's, it's funny. And I love it. You might need something shorter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I came to the realization over the weekend. I was like, mm-hmm. not a lot of people are laughing at this. Why? Um, at least you found that out just by sharing it and talking to people and you weren't already invested in the name of yeah I, I can change it i guess yeah but my hashtag <laughs> uh, <laughs> you'll just have to move it over you can still put alex hennera and then another another thing too henna by alex is just easy oh uh, it's so boring. boring i know but... everybody does it hair by so-and-so okay yeah there's no massage puns. by so-and-so no puns involved can't think of anything you, funny to say by so and so. I know you love puns, so. So punny. <laughs> Anyways, I met a lot of great people. You should check out my Instagram, Alex Hennera. Yes. Tell and, me about your week, Krista. Oh, shoot. Uh, I worked seven days straight. Oh, that's yeah. tiring. Yeah, that was rough. Worked a lot. Um, went Take- out a couple times. That's good. And. What did I... Oh, I'm trying something new. Um, I'm not a dieter. It works out a lot. In fact, I'm really terrible at it, and it does give me anxiety. Just being in a gym, I kind of hate it. It's, so... I hate the fishbowl effect. Like, Oh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's not all gyms, but that's how I feel like in the the two gyms I've been part of the past like <laughs> few years. Yeah. Gold's Gym being one of them, which... Mm-hmm. I like that they have a ladies' room, but most of the time it feels like you're on display. You're just a yeah. chunk of hanging meat for everyone to see. Or, like, everyone else knows what they're doing. I never know what I'm doing. And even though that's not true at all, no one knows what they're doing ever. But it's hard to so. work out if that's all you can think about the whole time. Even though it's not true, it's like... Yeah. I know. I feel yeah. the same way when I work out at gyms. Mm-hmm. So, like, I have to find other ways to stay healthy and i'm not unhealthy Mm -mm. Uh, so i do however appreciate learning a new technique of like just watching what you eat in general and one of the things that i learned about was intermittent fasting so yeah it's a how often do you fast like or like what does that mean two days a week Mm -hmm. um like in a row no. Okay. They don't suggest they, as in just people that do it, uh, suggest, they don't suggest doing it that much, especially at first. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, they don't even suggest completely fasting throughout a whole day. Start with going 13 hours and then maybe 16 hours and then 18 hours. But also, you're not, you can eat during this time, but keep it under 500 calories like per day. It's interesting. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. So I want to try it because I know it's possible. I like the idea because feast and famine um, is also one of the things they call it. And it's kind of like we weren't running around the wilderness just eating all of the time. <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, we got to plan my three meals. Yeah. And that wasn't something that humans evolved doing. Like we evolved to be able to spend an extended amount of time with little food or no food and then have an accessible, an excessive amount of food or a regular amount of feast. And there's a good saying, um, when they talk about eating in like other cultures and stuff is like, uh, or like smaller villages and people that haven't been westernized is where do you keep uh, your leftovers in your brother's belly? You Ooh. don't, yeah, you, you don't save your food or you don't, um, your food is not Can't about hoard you. Food. Yeah. The food is not about you. It's about the whole community. And I haven't gone that deep. Like that's deep. 
Like that's yeah. <laughs> like feast it takes and a village. No. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Like feast and famine people get really in depth like that, and they don't, you know, keep their food. Maybe I'm not really sure. I, I need to look further into it. Regardless. I like where you're going though. Yeah, it's a you know I'm at the tip of the iceberg, and I like um, just not even just restricting, just being much more conscious about what I'm eating. So today's not a feast day. <laughs> or famine day i mean it's a it's a feast day yes so, yeah this you deserve it after a long work week oh my god seven days was horrible that's so long but it's okay it's got to be done every once in a while guys i really want to get promoted at work so you're I'm gonna do it i know eventually uh what else what else do we have so this episode is a little different yes we had a topic but with me going out of town and Krista working nonstop like an animal, <laughs> um, we decided to save our topic that we had for next time. And we're going to, we have some recommendation lists for you. Yeah. So that's kind of the topic. I would get a lot of my inspiration and uh, enjoyment out of things that I experience, you know. So I want to recommend those things to you because... Thank you to everyone that listens, and I hope that you can en- enjoy some of these things that we have to share. Maybe you. you'll find something new. Yeah. Or maybe you'll just agree with us, and we can just be a little happy family podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so I want, and we can talk about all the things you're recommending too, because I don't know what you're recommending. I don't know. I have an idea what you're recommending because we talked about it a little bit, but we did. I like the surprise. Okay. Okay. So take it away. <clears throat> Our first list. I just did top threes. I think we both did. Top yeah, threes. we did. Okay. Mm-hmm. First one is top recommendations on Netflix right now. Yes. Or overall. Yeah. My first one, I was so upset because it's gone. It was Timer. And I'm not going to go into it because it's not on Netflix and I'm sad that you can't watch it, but maybe you can watch it on YouTube. What is it about? It's just this. I watched it because I couldn't find something to watch, and the cover was kind of interesting. It was like a girl in a white dress holding somebody's hand, but you couldn't see the other person. Okay. And it's about finding your soulmate. And so everyone in the future has these, like, they're injected with this timer on their wrist. Like, it's kind of like a watch, but as soon as it's injected into you, I think you get it, like, when you're 12 or 14. Mm. And as soon as you get it, countdown starts of when you're going to meet your soulmate and so this it's about a girl whose timer is like i think it was like 70 years or something ridiculous until she meets her soulmate and she was like and she was so concerned about it at first like she's like i can't wait till i get my timer can't wait till meet my soulmate and then she finally Mm -hmm. gets it and it's like 70 years and she's like what and it's a weird idea. Yeah. Okay. And then, so it was just interesting. It's, it was kind of fun and lighthearted. Did she wait for? Oh, yeah. Don't yeah. ruin it. Yeah. Don't no spoilers. It. Never mind. Yeah. I, that's <clears throat> definitely something that I would watch. It's called Timer. It's intriguing. Yeah. Okay. You should look it up on YouTube because it's no longer on Netflix. And I was really sad because I had to cross off my Netflix list. Uh, it might be on a, whatever service anyone uses. I don't it's know. It's called Timer. Know. And okay. just find I would it. recommend it. Find it. So I had to cross Timer off. Mm-hmm. And I put Crazy Ex-Girlfriend instead. Yes. I fucking love that show. And they have a new season, season three coming out. But I don't know if it's going to be on Netflix. Um, I forgot. I think they plan on... What's it called? The CW? Yeah, it is. But I don't have cable. It's on Hulu. Oh, it's on Hulu? Mm-hmm. Oh, you guys, mm-hmm. I'm so excited. Yeah, that's how I started watching it at first. As soon as it aired, it was on Hulu, because CW does Hulu stuff, too. You got Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. So Crazy Ex-Girlfriend is really great. Oh, so good. So then my list kind of crosses over onto Hulu, I guess. Um, it's hilarious, and I love musicals, and there's a, there's a few musical numbers every episode. It's... Mm-hmm. It's so amazing. Um, my next one on my list is Big Mouth. It's a cartoon. It's like, not like South Park, but it's like a dirty cartoon. Uh-huh. And an adult cartoon. It's an adult cartoon. There we go. Okay. And it's about... Animated is what they It's say. an animated series about 
entering puberty. And it's just so great. Like, it's been, I, it keeps popping up on my Netflix feed, and I was like, ugh, fine, I'll watch it. Thank you, Netflix feed. You know me so well. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. Like, I have not been able to get my mind off of it. I binge-watched all ten episodes, and you gotta watch it. I, after you showed me the trailer, I was uh, flipping through, like, the videos on Facebook, and Mm -hmm. it showed up again, and I was like, oh, I need to watch it again. It's really funny. There's so, yeah. There's puber- puberty monster. Hormone. Hormone monster. That's yeah, what it yeah, is. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hormone monster. It's just so great. You need Monstress. to watch it. Oh, the monstrous <laughs> is my favorite character. Yes. Her deep. It's oh, what's Maya Ralphia or what's her name? She's from Saturday Night Live. Oh. I gotta look it up. It's gonna bug me. But I. She's she's also in Bridesmaids. Okay. My. Maya Angelou. I won't say Maya Angelou, but it's... <laughs> oh, Ma- Maya Rudolph. I don't know why that doesn't roll off my tongue. <laughs> that's, I, I know who that's she it. is when I see her. Okay. Anyways. It's just great. It will have you laughing. All yes. of mine are all funny. So my last one on my list is Christina P. Uh, Mother Inferior. Her Christina Pazitsky's stand-up special. Okay. I love Christina Pazitsky. And she goes by Christina P. now because her last name is kind of hard to say and I probably butchered it too. But Mm -hmm. she's just a really great comedian and I've been really excited for her special to come out on Netflix. And it's finally here, you guys. Yeah! And I connect with her a lot because she has a two-year-old and she talks about like entering motherhood in her special. So, I mean, it's still funny even if you're not a mom. But Mm -hmm. her and her husband, Tom Segura... Are just so funny. They they love fart jokes, and I love fart jokes. Wow. I know I'm like 12 years old, and it seems really <laughs> silly, but it is the quickest thing to get me to laugh so hard. Oh my god! <laughs> I'll have to remember. Okay, I didn't know you love fart jokes. So. I love a good fart or poop joke. <laughs> <laughs> so if you got any good fart or poop jokes, send, send them, them out. out way. Way. <laughs> She'll love it. I'll die. I'll die. Like. Oh my gosh, I just love it so we'll much. Have to, well, maybe we can do an episode on fart jokes and poop jokes. <laughs> <laughs> she would not be able to handle it. It just I love it. <laughs> anyway, wow. so that concludes my list: Crazy Ex Girlfriend, mm-hmm. Big Mouth, yes, and Christina P. Mother Inferior very, Stand Up Special. Very cool. I'm really glad you picked funny ones because I just realized mine are all very dark <laughs> and sad. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> very, Maybe we should have you go first. Like, oh, now no. that you're all laughing and in tears, here's Chris. <laughs> here's the list. sad no. ones. <laughs> I mean, it's not sad. It's just like, it's it's creepy stuff. And Ooh, I, like, I like creepy too. I love funny things. And like, you know, my one of my favorite shows ever is Parks Maybe you can go so. back and forth. Like, do one on my list and then oh, go to yeah. Krista's list. Yeah, that's a good idea. So on Netflix, the first thing I want to talk about is Mindhunter. Which is a Netflix-only series about the advent of, uh, what did I tell you earlier? Heck. <laughs> of uh, profiling, sort of. So they Like had, before serial killers, right? Yeah, people didn't have a term for it. They just called them murderers or a killing spree. This guy went on a killing spree. A serial killer is someone that kills somebody in sequence and had a specific, uh, like, Thing. It's so weird because you said it was 1970s. Is this yeah, the early 70s? Yeah, that's like not that's not that super long, long ago. ago. No, no, no. And that's... serial killers have been around for a long time, but no one to ever... coin the term. Yeah, the, they invented it. Um, the one of the parts where I'm on. I've only seen the first two episodes, but I know I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna keep going. And uh, they're in a prison and they're interviewing. Well, the one main guy is interviewing. Um, uh, the, a murderer that went on a killing spree in uh, California, and he just says like, "So what? What caused you to do this? And or what? What's in you that made this happen?" And he's like, "It never, it like it. Nothing caused it. It was always there. I've always been like this." And that freaks me out. Oh, it's so good. There are psychopaths like, in the world. I love and hate true crime because oh, it yeah. like. Makes my skin crawl, but it's so intriguing. Especially because, I don't know. We have a morbid fascination with true crime. Yes. Like, I love true crime. 
Uh, my dad's a police officer, so he like I, he hasn't told me every story he has, but he's told me some. And so crazy. I've always just like loved it. I need to hear more. I need to know more. So that also goes into our one of our favorite podcasts ever. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> bum, bum, bum. stay yeah. tuned. No. Yeah. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> um, the other uh, thing I really like on Netflix is Black Mirror. I love Black Mirror. Super I'm glad popular. you have that on your list. Oh, yeah. Black Mirror is great. Every episode is different. I described it as a... Uh, I, I, go ahead. What, what, Here's how I would describe it. Sorry to take <laughs> over your a, list. No, it's, it's a okay. modern... X-Files. No, not X-Files. Twilight. No, Twilight Zone. It's a modern Twilight Zone. Yes, yep. that's exactly it. And I love the Twilight Zone, even though it's like older and in black and white. It's so... Oh, Twilight Zone's great, too. Yeah. yeah. So, but they're individual stories... And you may, if you want to, connect them and make them into the same universe. They do have parts in all of them that um, will be connected in stories. Like, it's a, it's either a thing, uh, like an ad for something, or like a product that someone is using. I love shows like that. That's why oh, yeah. I watch American Horror Story. It's, like, <gasps> kind yes. of awful now, but I'm like, I know there's going to be one big connecting thing, mm-hmm. and I'm going to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, so my favorite episode of Black Mirror is Playtest, and that's the one that the guy is testing the video games. I like that one a lot. It's really tragic and, like, so All of them are kind of, like, it leaves you kind of sad, but, like, I need to watch another episode. The one that is not sad at all and is really beautiful and ends really happy is San Junipero. Oh, oh, it's yeah. so good. I, like, forget each episode, too. Like, I, mm-hmm. you can watch them over and over again. Because oh, for real. Yeah. They're and there's different like stories. hidden stuff in them, too. Yeah. You look deeper. You won't see the same thing twice in every... Well, except for the things I mentioned before, but like <laughs> the products and stuff. But but also, like, you will uh, just see something that you didn't see before, and that's rewatchable. That's really good. My recommendation for that, though, I wouldn't start with season one, episode oh. one. <laughs> you should still watch it. But maybe but later on. Maybe not very to start off with. Start on episode. Start on season two. Or Just, I started yeah. season three, episode one, and I really liked it. I was like, wow, that I gotta was a watch. Good episode. Gotta watch the next one. Yeah, and I think that's a good place to start at because it has a really good real world connection. Yeah, and yeah, I think it's called Head First or something. I don't remember the episode titles at all. Oh, okay. I just remember it's season three, episode one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely definitely a good one. That to one start hooked with. me. Yeah, and then you can just jump around. You really don't even have to do it in order. Yeah. You just put on whatever whatever interests you. Okay, so yeah, Black Mirror playtest. And then I have a recommendation for one of my favorite movies ever. I said, and it's on Netflix. I said movies weird. It is Teeth. Yes! Fuck <laughs> off. Sorry for cursing. <laughs> but if you don't like Teeth, you don't get it. <laughs> like, you just will never get it. No. <laughs> it's, it is... It is my dream. Like, I <laughs> love teeth so much. Can you give a little synopsis oh, of it? Oh, girl. Okay. Or is that so, I'm putting you on oh, the spot? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. No, I love it so much. Okay. <laughs> Basically, a young lady coming into age is experiencing for the first time sexual things that happen between, you know, two people. The, thing, yes. the things move too fast. She doesn't like it. Uh, it's not enjoyable for her. And this person that is perpetrating this act... Gets his dick bitten off. Right off. Right <laughs> off. And I won't tell you where or how. You gotta watch it for the You details. have to watch it. Yeah. At the very end, she takes this this power that she has, this gift, and she uses it for good. She does. I haven't watched it in so. a long time. So I need to like rewatch it so I could like add on to this. But I, yeah. I remember yeah. liking it. I want to watch it again, too, right now. We should watch it right now. Okay, after this podcast. Right okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, good list. I, yeah, thank you. I like, you had a good list, too. It was all funny. It's all different kinds of funny, too. Did you notice? You yeah. got, like, three good genres. Got a stand-up, got an animated, got a... And a musical. Musical. A series, yeah. I'm so well-rounded. <laughs> I'm on Netflix. Actually, <laughs> I hate my Netflix queue right now because I keep forgetting to switch over to kids. So all of Ryan's uh, cartoons are messed sure. up, and yeah. yeah, and it's like 
you'll like My Little Pony High School edition. And I'm like, oh, uh, no, you won't. I will not like that. <laughs> Even Ryan doesn't like that. I accidentally put it on for her one time. She's like, Mom, no, this is the wrong one. And I'm like, <laughs> you're right. It is wrong. It's yeah, wrong. It's yeah. stupid. Yeah. Netflix, take that off. Um, I wish there was a way you could reset it or something. That'd yeah. Be cool. I thought about like, like thumbs for, downing everything. all the cartoons. And then I'm like, I'm going to mess something up. I really up. wish that they didn't take away the five stars. <gasps> I know. I I liked that. Because I can't just thumbs up and thumbs down things. Because there are thumbs down things that I like. There's some stuff that deserves three stars. Yes. Yeah, or two. Yeah. And, like, I think it should be all all of the options. For the five stars, thumbs up, and thumbs down. Because I will... Five star things that I thumbs down and one star things that I thumbs up sometimes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so. Maybe we should send this podcast to Netflix so they okay. know our ideas. Listen, Netflix, I know you're listening. You're doing good. <laughs> yeah, but... but here's some little improvements you can make. <laughs> Listen to us. We watch it a lot. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I watch, I use your app all the time. Also, bring Timer back. Yes. I oh, like that movie a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, why did we have to get rid of that? You hear that, Netflix? <laughs> Perfect. They heard us. <laughs> all right. Should we go on to our next top three list? Yes. Podcast. Right. Podcast. Something. Do you want to... Right, oh, no. I... No, wait, you go ahead. Okay. You okay. go back and forth. Oh, my God. I didn't even do that. What? That one. Okay, let's keep you going. You didn't do... Okay. Well... Nope. I don't want to ruin the I surprise. Have... No, but I have a list. Okay. No, no, no. But I can still make up a list. All right. Okay. So, my podcast list. Top three. <laughs> She's covering up the list that I didn't make. <laughs> <laughs> this okay. is awkward. No. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Um... So my podcast list, the very first one, it's kind of a continuing theme from the Netflix because I started off with Christina Pazitsky's podcast. That's Deep Bro. Oh. I love her. I love she's that so name. I know. That's why and she switched it to Christina P. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I can finally say her last name. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But so she has a podcast with her husband called um That's Deep Bro. No, no, no. This oh, one is sorry. just her. Sorry. Oh. Um, I'm drawing a blank. Is it about home? Your mom's house. Yeah. Yeah. And her and her husband love fart jokes and I love fart jokes. So, you know, I'm listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's Deep Bro is just her. And she gives, she's not a therapist, but she has a lot of good advice. So okay. people write her in and she kind of just gives her thoughts on things. Yeah. Um, that reminds me of like Anna Ferris Unqualified. Yeah. I also really like that one. I like one. that one a lot too. But for some reason I don't listen to it very regularly. Anna, sorry. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I, I freaking hate calling her Anna. It's not, it, does, ugh, it makes my mouth hurt. Mm-hmm. Her name's Anna. Anna. <laughs> we use hard consonants. I'm from Washington and I say Anna. <laughs> Actually, she's from Washington too, so oh. this is awkward. Oh yeah, she is. I feel weird Sorry, now. Anna. I do, you do have a pretty name. It just doesn't <laughs> come to my mind right away. Yeah. Uh, that sounded rude too. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> just move along. <laughs> okay, that's deep, bro. Mm-hmm. She gives good advice, and that's where I heard of the book, The Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Oh yes. We're gonna have to put a censor on this episode. Oh, we will. Okay. <laughs> Don't listen, mom. No. Sorry, babies. If there are any babies that listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, so it's a really great book. She talks about it. She also talks about this guy. Um, Dan Pena and he, he's like a really harsh grandpa um, he gives really mean advice but it's needed like I, he, I really like that, that uh, that's my grandpa yeah so it was mine too <laughs> yeah. and what some of the stuff she always plays like little clips of him like shouting at you and I'm like <laughs> it gets your act together another thing she always says is get your life you just gotta get your life oh hell yeah and it's really <laughs> resonated with me and you do. You have to get your life. You gotta mm-hmm. be happy. Yeah, go get it. And Dan it's not Pena, gonna come to you. <laughs> you just gonna have to listen to it because I can't tell you everything. You mm-hmm. just gotta tune in to Christina P's. That's deep, bro. Uh-huh. So my second one, it was hard. I love podcasts. I could have like my top fifty. Oh, me too. And that's why we have a podcast is because we're obsessed with podcasts. Yes, this is exactly <laughs> why. But my number two, I decided to go with Someone Knows Something. And Ooh. there's two seasons. Have I've you listened? Never, no, I've never heard of this at what? all. What? I'm so excited for you. Yes. Oh, I wish I could be in your position so I could re-listen to it all over again oh and be my excited. God, I'm so excited too. So, so Someone Knows Something is true crime. And it's like, they take you through the trial. And like I said, there's two seasons. So you, oh, 
I'm so excited for you. You have so much to listen to. <laughs> oh, yes. And <clears throat> they, they take you through this whole case and you try to figure out if the guy is innocent or not. Okay. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to go into details because you need to listen to it okay. and I don't want to ruin anything for you. Don't. So, or but if you like true crime, it. you're going to love someone knows something and you have to start, I would start with season one and start from the very beginning because they also give like updates in season two about okay. season one. So okay. start with season one and it's just really good. And I like it because I feel like I'm like, oh, I know it. I know it. And then it switches on you and you're like, what's happening? Oh, yes. So that was number two. Okay. My third one. And I love this podcast so much. So it was hard oh putting gosh. it number three. And the re- it's, I'll explain why I put it at number three in a okay. minute. Okay. I'm glad. It's my favorite murder. These girls are so freaking funny. Mm-hmm. It's also, so they talk about their favorite murderers. And I remember being like kind of embarrassed to listen to this at first because I didn't want people okay. to see it in my podcast list and be like, why are you listening about murder you freak yeah and, and but I they think... also talk about it they're like they were nervous to talk about murders with people because they didn't want people yeah. to judge them so they did a really good job at dispelling any like i don't know like don't judge people just because they're it's interesting is... to find out the psyche of murderers like why yeah. does this happen but I think it's not as weird now because there's like making a murderer. There's a bunch of shows on murders and yeah, stuff. Yeah, true crime is having its popular moment right yeah. now. It really is. And like my favorite murder did a really good job also at talking about mental illness and having a therapist and just like being able to deal with the parts of your mind that you're not really comfortable with. And like I said before, they're super freaking funny. Oh, that too. So I, <laughs> I think... Like, it's not number three because it's your third favorite. It's just so good. Like, it it takes over all of those, I think. I don't know. The reason it's number three on my list is because uh-huh. I live alone and I get scared at night. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't listen okay. to it every day. I want to, but yeah. I have to listen to it during the day, usually when I'm in my car. Okay. Yeah, during the day. can't listen to it in my car at night because I'm like... No. Think of all the ways I'm going to get murdered. I, I listen to it at all times of the day, but I don't live alone. I have a roommate, and she's really scary. Safe if I live with your roommate? <laughs> Lisa? Yeah. She would kill somebody. She would kick anybody's ass. Like. I never thought of that. No wonder <laughs> yeah. you can listen to it all the time. I'm just like, no, nope, Lisa's here. I'm fine. <laughs> like, so. Yeah, well, I don't have that security, I'm so <laughs> I can only listen to it during the day, and I have to limit it to like two times a week. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So uh-huh. it's taken me a while to get through it. But, but I love it. It's still good. Oh, I, I they're love so MFM. great. Stay sexy. <gasps> oh, do you remember? What? Oh, I had this dream that we met them. Yeah, you told me about the dream. Yeah. I think, oh, I don't know. I'm not going to go back to our text messages. Can I, no. I don't remember what happened exactly, but I remember me and you were like meeting the girls from my Karen favorite. in Georgia. Yeah. yeah. And I was so excited. I was like. This is happening. Yeah. Some, I would really love to go to one of their shows. We probably should. That's a great idea. Yeah. Why, okay. Why note to self. Let's check that. this yeah. after the podcast. Yeah. 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 After we're done watching them. What were we going to mm-hmm. watch? Teeth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's my top three podcast list. Okay. Krista? I love it. It's perfect. It's well-rounded. You have a lot Thank going you. on. Yes. So I have... Um, I have the podcast and the specific episode Ooh, that I love. Look at you, detail Ooh. oriented. Thanks. So the first one I want to talk about is stuff you missed in history class. Ooh. And it's part of the stuff you should, or uh, how does it? Uh, how stuff works is like a group of podcasts. There's a stuff you should know, um, stuff they don't want you to know, which is like a conspiracy one. What? Yeah, it's really good. I'm and gonna then... look that up. I love <laughs> conspiracy. Yeah, stuff they don't want you to know is really good. But stuff you missed in history class is about um, just characters in history or events that are undermined because they were either they were someone that is a woman, someone that is another race, someone that might be you know not straight, or it might just be more interesting or like. Uh, odd things that happened in history so it's not just standard history just the stuff you hear about in school all the time it's not that so uh, my favorite episode is about Marquesa Luisa Casati which is a socialite she's a socialite from Italy in the early 
1920s and 1930s. You were showing me some of her pictures today, and she... She's gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. I want to be her. She's a literal work of art. That was her goal. That's literally what she spoke about was, I'm a living art piece. So cool. Which is amazing. (laughs) So, um, I want her haircut, and... (laughs) I thought about that all day today when you told me earlier today. I, yeah. I think you would look good with it. Thank you. It's I already have bangs, so they're it's like blunt bangs. You're halfway there. Yeah. And it's shorter, like, to your and chin. And she has thick hair, so it, like... It's poofy oh, and curly, yeah. and it's That's really beautiful. Nice. So, yeah. The episode about Marquesa Luisa Casati. Also an amazing name. So <laughs> Michelle, I'm going to post a picture of her on the Instagram. So That's a good idea. Go to Something the Instagram and you can look at her. What else did I say I was going to post? Your uh, oh, Hannah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those will go good. So many things Together. to look at. Pictures. Another favorite podcast of mine is the Cracked Podcast from Cracked.com. You Love probably it. have seen their listicles and dumb articles they have. Sometimes they are really dumb. But there are... They are illuminating. They go through a lot of topics that I would have never thought of, and they have very different That's exactly opinions. why I love them, though, because, oh, like, yeah. I don't listen to all of them, but there's a few that I'm like, I would have never thought about that. I'm going to listen yeah. to that. My favorite episode isn't available on iTunes. Oh. Um, but you can, I think it's on SoundCloud, and their website is called What the Fuck Happened? An Election Autopsy, and it's about the election... It's about the breakdown. It's about the state of the United States as not being uh, like red versus blue. It really isn't. It's more um, city versus rural, Mm -hmm. which is very interesting to look at. So um, that one's really good. But uh, the one that is on iTunes that you should listen to is Why Modern People Have the Worst Sex Lives Ever. Mm -hmm. So it just goes about like... Like how people have this distorted view with looking at the past and thinking that they were very conservative sexually. They weren't. We are hyper conservative now. Yeah. Like we are very, very like just way more straight necked and like. I, I what think am I about to that say sometimes. Here? Like yeah. when, like I think about Romans and how they were like more open. loose. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We are not. Like and it doesn't make us any civilized any more civilized than anything else and anybody else. Uh so I'm not it's not like it's not for cause of sexual revolution or anything. It's just something to think about cuz whatever you want to It's very mind opening this podcast. Yeah, I would say. Good. And it's it's not being like, "Hey, you should just go be with anyone who you want." No. It, do what it, what makes you comfortable, but don't have this skewed idea of what history was. Mm-hmm. So, um, my next favorite one is the Jenna and Julian podcast. And if you've seen Jenna Marbles on YouTube, you understand her personality. And her <laughs> boyfriend, Julian, is also amazing. And their episode about Jake Paul and his effect on YouTube and uh, young culture is amazing. It was so funny. That- so, we were talking about this before the podcast. And I want to bring it up because it made me laugh. Hmm. Like, how... Lucky is Jenna uh, that she has Julian. Uh, like, can everyone just be with somebody that matches their name so perfectly? <laughs> yes. Krista thought this, had this thought, but yeah. then I'm, she was like, who am I going to meet? And so we were yeah. thinking, and Krista, Krista, and Krista and Xander. Xander. Or, or there, she has one other option if what she can't that? meet a Xander. Krista and Xavier. Krista and Xavier. Xavier. I, I kind of like Xander more now that we're talking Xander about this. Xander rolls off the tongue better Kristen and Xander. Xander like yeah it needs to sound like that'll be our spin-off podcast Kristen and Xander <laughs> so if there's any Xanders so Xander, that want to apply what's up <laughs> <laughs> no. but what was yours Alex and Alex no <laughs> I don't know we never thought of one because there's some good ones I like Alejandro because well, that's my name <laughs> Alex and Alejandro. Alejandro I just like saying because it's Alexandria and Alejandro that's the same name. It's we gotta think of something cooler. Okay. So our whole listener, if you think of something, <laughs> what's Alex's perfect boyfriend name that I can Let make a see. podcast with? Yes. <laughs> yes. Who's Who's my Julian? Who's your Julian? Also, Julian is just an all around great guy. That is a great name. He's oh yeah, and it's like oh, and his brother's Julian. name. Yeah, do you know his brother's name? No. Is? Marlon. Wow. I love it. Those like the fish. Their parents. <laughs> Oh, smart They're people. killing it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> They're 
<laughs> making good names for babies. Making good babies of good names. <laughs> yeah. Oh my uh, gosh. So this brings us to our third list. Third category. It's YouTube. YouTube. I was kind of nervous for this because I don't. You're not a YouTuber. I'm not a YouTuber. Yeah. And I was like, Chris, I don't know. I may, I think I just have one for this. And all of a sudden, I, it was like my first list I made. And I was like, wow, well, that was unexpected. Mm-hmm. And so here's my little top three for YouTube, guys. Number one, what I listen to every single night with Ryan, guided meditations. Aww. So it's not like a, an exact channel or ex- exact video, but we listen to like a kid's guided meditation. So it's... Just soothing sounds, and they tell you when to breathe, and they'll, like, give you, like, a little scenario. It's like reading a book to your child without having to read them the book. Okay. And it's calming, and she falls asleep seriously within five to ten minutes. Oh, that's awesome. Does she know what's happening? Is she, like... Yeah, it's really funny, because they'll be like, go ahead and take a deep breath and feel your chest rise, and she goes... (sighs) <laughs> and like sucks in oh, the air so like really cute. dramatically. Oh, that's adorable. And then they're like, and breathe out. And she's like breathing out dramatically. And I'm like, yeah, get it, girl. Get it, girl. She's going to be so good in yoga someday. Um, but yeah, so that's my top because I do that every single night with Ryan. And yes. I thought that's where I was going to end. But one of my favorite YouTube channels, and I haven't looked at it a long time, but it just it has some nostalgia to it because I listened to it in high school. Was Julia Noons? Okay. She, I don't remember how I stumbled across her, but she plays the ukulele and she's just a really good singer. And she has a CD that's on my iPhone, and it always comes up in my car when we go. And you're yeah. like, "What is this sad slow music playing?" <laughs> <laughs> that was on earlier today. Yeah, I, it was. I also did. I still don't remember. I had no idea you were into this person. I oh, I love her. And I still love her, and I liked her since I was 17. Nice. 10 years ago. Oh. That's a long time. Yeah. Jeez. That's a long time to be a fan of something. Yeah, I know. And, and she only, I think maybe she has another CD, but I just have had the one CD for 10 years, and I love her. That's awesome. And she makes, she also does a lot of covers that are really great, and she plays the ukulele, and she's hilarious. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's number two. Number three is also because of Julia Noons. Um, I found these people called the Pomplamoose. And they're still making new videos, but I don't listen to them all the time. I just, that's, Julia Noons made me think of Pomplamoose, and they do a lot of funny cover songs, and they're really great. It's a um, duo, it's girl and guy, and yes. they're friends, and I just they're just super of, cute. I just think of the LaCroix flavor. Yeah, I think of that now, <laughs> when I... When I say it out loud. Mm-hmm. But they, my favorite one from Pomplamoose is Mrs. Robinson. They okay. do a really good I love cover that song of it. So I know. Much. They do it so good. And she's also, she does French songs and she oh, just nice. is so cute. Yeah. Pomplamous and the guy's cute too. French but just her singing the French songs, I'm always like, oh, I wish I knew French. Yeah. French is beautiful. Oh, it's so great. There's this artist I really like that sings in French sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I always forget and I try to sing it. I probably sound like a maniac. Like, <laughs> it's still good. So, all right, Krista, what's your top three YouTube? So, I forgot we were doing that topic. But, <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, I am an intense YouTuber. I, so, you have quick, <laughs> oh, quick yeah. go tos. Um, freaking love YouTube. Watch it all the time. I have never had the cable to cut. So, <laughs> that's where I start from. So, the first person I want to talk about is Jenny Nicholson. Ooh. And she better not play. Better not play it. Don't play it. Uh, I'm trying to hit pause. Oh, okay, pause. that was so stressful. Okay. okay, I just wanted to bring up her channel here. Jesus. So, <laughs> Jenny Nicholson uh, started off with this really funny video called How to uh, Name Star Wars Characters. And <laughs> she's just this little tiny brunette girl who has the funniest opinions on very nerdy topics. And... My favorite video from hers is called I Did It. I Found the Worst Book. Oh, my god! So she's, like, she's a book nerd. Like, um, here's her buying Porg. Oh, my god! Like, so that's, that's a character from one of the new Star Wars films. It's the giant space penguin. I'm really excited to watch some of these. Oh, man. These, she's so, so funny. I connect with her so much because she's just, she's a female that is in this male-dominated, like, topic and this world where 
she could be highly disrespectful for her opinions, but she comes from like. Keep on. Oh, okay. There was one that oh. talked about Fifty Shades of Grey, <laughs> oh, yeah, and I yeah, loved yeah. to rip that movie oh, apart. Oh man, she does it so good. Uh, Fifty oh. Shades Darker script. The script doctor. So a script doctor is someone that goes in and mix fixes the script so that it makes sense. Like they, they're a real. It's a real job title. Script doctor. Okay. So. Oops, oops, don't play. Don't, don't play. Don't, don't play. play. <laughs> um, no, I love to rip that movie apart, and yeah, yeah. so I saw that right now. I was like, whoa, you, whoa. You'll watch that. You'll love it. You'll have love you it. watched that movie? No. We should have done, like, the top three worst movies, too, because oh, yeah. that okay, would have so made mine. Okay, so number one, Fifty Shades. Yeah, we agree. <laughs> Let's go. In unison. <laughs> yeah. Uh, number two, did uh, the other one. Magic Mike. No. <laughs> Magic Mike is up there. It's <laughs> a terrible movie. Horrible. <laughs> Channel Keith has... Messed up teeth, and I cannot concentrate uh, on his beautiful body because I'm just like, you have the teeth of a hamster. Like, ugh, sorry, it's that, okay. No, 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 very... I understand. Um, so the other one, so Jenny Nicholson, check her out. She's she's a bad bitch. Um, casually explained is this guy that does. Uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> the really icons funny. are really funny. It's a horrible uh, art. It's all animated. It. It's animated with paint. Stick figures. And it's stick figures. And his expressions are just so funny. And he has like the worst jokes I've ever heard, but they're hysterical. I'm so excited. And uh, you can see all the ones that I've watched. Yeah. Like, so great. They're really short. They're Most of them aren't over four minutes long, like maybe three and a half minutes to four minutes. And it's like casually explained. Um uh, the solar system casually explained finding the one just like really broad topics and then he makes fun of it and yeah it's really really good so casually explained go for it do them all okay let me find another one i don't want to recommend the really big channels because everyone knows you who's know good. of them yeah so how about let's do the best introduction to youtube that anyone should they should witness this uh this person has nearly 10,000 subscribers, and it's called How To Basic. <laughs> they are how-to videos. Um, sorry, the one that's catching my eye right now is How To Survive A Shark Attack. Yeah. So, Gotta watch that later. Yeah. And y- sure, yes. These are great. They're all legitimate. They're Everything not. that <laughs> I lie awake at night wondering so, about. How to make a Big Mac? But, Hell yeah. <laughs> but, okay. Now, I don't want to lead anyone on. I'm so sorry, but you will learn nothing from this from this channel. Wah, wah. <laughs> they're they're amazing. Have you seen any of these? No. Before? We're gonna show Alex. Alex, do you want to? I want to see how to survive a shark attack. Okay. And okay. I'm just realizing that's two minutes long. So okay. I'm no, no. How about it. how about this one's 51 seconds? Or how about let's find? No, let me find. One oh, I guess two you. minutes is kind of long for somebody that's not watching. But we're gonna do live reactions. How about this? This one's 47, 46 seconds long. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, 46 seconds. Wait, what is it? What's my topic? This is uh, how to put on a condom. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> so, if you're... He's... There's a sausage. Yeah. There's a condom coming up. <laughs> he slaps, slaps it. it, and it's com- all suddenly open. Yeah. And he's... It's oh, and then there are lots of eggs, and they're just going everywhere. I don't even know how to describe this to the viewers, <laughs> so or to the listeners. This is something that you guys have to see. Oh, now look, it's on. Look at that. Wow, it's all that's up amazing. Too. And now we're in a store, and we're running no. up to people grunting. No, and so yeah, so this is this is what I signed up for when I got on YouTube. How to basic. <laughs> How to Everybody basic. Everybody needs to watch this because I'm probably going to spend three hours watching this now. None of it is in- Actually, informative. I probably won't spend three hours because they're all like a minute long. You could spend three hours. How many there is are, there? Oh, thousands. I don't know. I'm just saying thousands. But there are many. I haven't run out. I still... There are videos. Look at that. Look at that. There are videos that I've never Child seen Ruth before. <laughs> Look. View 100 more. Like there are so many videos. They're very short. Um... Uh, this man, he's an artist, and he's a genius, and he belongs in the Museum of Modern Art. I love him <laughs> so much. He <laughs> this just makes me so happy that we did this topic. And like, so how to basic? Um, like I said, no, nothing. Wait, wait. You will. I how I, to make? What is that? How to make a Frere Rocher? 
Okay, I would never know how to say that aloud. I, I just say it in my head. It's not roacher, let me tell you that. I didn't <laughs> think it was roacher, but in my head I'm like, oh, I know that word, and I don't mm-hmm. actually say it. Yeah. It's French, so none of the vowels matter. Or none of the Silly. consonants matter. <laughs> we just got done saying how cool it would be to speak French, and I'm like, Ugh. I can't. <laughs> I can't do that. Um, so I'm just, I'll just keep bumping up how to basic, because it's worth it. Go watch all of them. Do it um, now. Because I found this when I was like, how to, uh, what did I try to look up? It's it's the best troll ever because everyone uses YouTube to so you know people are saying how to flip an egg yeah how to get, flip an egg they and get they, taken to how to basic and they, yeah exactly and then they learn nothing and they're probably scared and they just turn off their computer what, what happened <laughs> oh my gosh I'm just thinking of like some 16 year old boy looking at how to put on a condom oh, and going thing. to that video and being like well I'm what never is my life now <laughs> yeah because <laughs> I don't know what's happening um so. Yeah, so the one of the best things about this channel, though, is that the creator is unknown. <laughs> of course. Um, there are uh, one of my favorite channels, iDubs. He knows the creator. They are friends, and they visited each other. That is so, really good to stay anonymous that long. Yeah. Wow. He has 10,000 subscribers. Good job. Not a basic. So check him out. Um, so I know my list already ended, but... What do you Something have? that made me think of, I don't watch a lot of YouTube, oh, Yeah, but I was on Facebook this weekend mm-hmm. and like the Facebook videos pop up or whatever. And it yes. said, I don't know, is it just sponsored by Facebook? I don't know. Mm. It's called Strangers and it's really funny and it's like this little mini sewed on Facebook. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you told me about this. The guy, what's his name, is on it. Um, Shermaine. Is that his name? Jermaine? Jermaine. Jermaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on Jermaine. It. Yeah. Jermaine. And from Fly to the Concords. And so it's about this girl who breaks up with her boyfriend and she's having people like come live at her house because she can't afford it. And it's not on, maybe it's on YouTube, but it just made me think of it because of our little YouTube list. Yeah. YouTube's great. Strangers on Facebook. Go check it out. I like it I think too. it's a, it's a show. But they're like 15 minutes long. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That sounds cool. That's why it's like a mini. So yeah. I don't know what you'd call it. That's what I would call it. Short? I don't know. Short and sweet and fun. Hell yeah. Sorry for yawning, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Krista worked all week, so I'm she tired. gets to yawn during mm-hmm. the podcast. Thank you. So I really liked this topic, and we're going to have a bonus. <laughs> oh, yeah. A bonus topic. I was like, we have to do one more. And she's like, no. I can't think of any. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. No, it wasn't. You said one more, like, favorite wines. It's like, no, I can't do that. And I was like, actually, I have one favorite wine, so we yeah. can do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, So this yeah. is our bonus list. Okay. Go to wines. Yeah, drink wine. Mine is 14 Hands Hot to Trot, a red blend, and I love it, and it's what I go to. That's some good shit, dog. I oh, love yeah. that one. That's mm-hmm. good. Uh, I like white wine, and it gives me a headache, but I don't care. So <laughs> my favorite one is Chateau Saint Michel, the Gourds Demeanor. And just, is that what we're drinking? No, this one's the Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. Sauvignon Blanc. Blanc. All that French. Oh, God. Yeah. oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Um, so. A note, a side note on French. Uh-huh. I still don't know how to spell your last name, and we've been friends forever. I forget, you. I forget, too, sometimes. It messes with... I don't know <laughs> if I actually have dyslexia, but too many vowels together, and there it hurts my five head. five out of seven letters. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's your family's yeah. fault that yeah, I can't spell your name. It is. <laughs> I will always forever spell it R-I-M. That's fine. In my <laughs> office, um, like when you come in, mm-hmm. and I put you on the schedule, it's R-I-M. Yes. That's so. fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I uh, uh, I remember being a kid and having to write <laughs> my name out, and I didn't. I just didn't do it. You're like Krista M. Or I'm just R. R. I, don't know I just why. put R. I don't know M. The last one's M. <laughs> so it's not even the last one's E. Like uh, <laughs> I can't. So I cannot, and I, it hurts my head. And it makes me really angry. Mm-hmm. Just don't. Don't. I won't. I just <laughs> like, will never. <laughs> just so you know, I will okay. never. I got it. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Uh, well, this has been super fun. This is a great episode, you guys. good. We got a lot done. Hope you so, learned something new. Yeah. Like, got some good recommendations. Yeah, pick something. If you guys, all our one viewer, or all our one listener, I keep I, get messing it up like we're on viewer. YouTube. Yeah. I have well, said viewer is, we every are. time. 
but oh my god, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so weird don't raise your eyebrows like that <laughs> Anyways, one listener, um, if you have any suggestions for us, send us an email. Yeah, thesensecast at if gmail.com. You, if you don't know it now, you ain't never going to know it. Just kidding. You know what it is. <laughs> Shoot us an email. Yes, let us know. You want to talk about weekly goals? Yeah, we should. kind of. I don't want to I don't because I also one. haven't made the cover art for our podcast. That's still. okay. You, there's still plenty of time. Our okay. podcast is still in, in infancy. Oh, so. that makes- it sounds so cute. I know. It's the baby. A little baby podcast. So. That's my goal still. Okay. Cover it. Also, my other goal. I I need to do more with my, I'm doing a lot with my henna. You are. You're booming, man. I'm booming. And I want to go to a coffee shop and I want to put it on Facebook and be like, I'm going to be at this coffee shop at this time. Uh And if you would like some henna, come join me. And I want to bring people together and do some henna at a coffee shop. You need to make some freaking cards. I've made some. Never mind. I mean, they're kind of like, I need to make some better ones. Like, I need to get up on Vistaprint. Yeah. And make them so they're a little bit nicer. But I Mm -hmm. have cardstock. Okay. And I made like aftercare cards that are also a business card. (gasps) That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Put a little info, you know, how to treat your henna. And it has my Instagram handle. Yes. And if anyone has a better name for my... Let her know. Let me know. Yeah. Because... Henna by Alex is... So boring. So predictable. So boring. So pedestrian. And I think Alex Henera is just amazing. But, but no it doesn't... Really remember that and you can't... I can't It's not great. It. It's not great. I love it because it's a pun. I think it's funny because, yeah. It's <laughs> Alexander... It's Alex Henera. Yeah, I've messed mm. that up. Everyone's messed up now. It's so okay. if you think of something better, let me know. Yeah. Let us know. I guess. <laughs> Fine. Crystal, what are your goals? Oh, boy. I just want to keep up my 5-2 thing going on. Five days feast, uh, two days famine. Uh, I actually felt really good after um, eating less than 500 calories. I'm not thin, guys, just to let you know. <laughs> I'm not in any danger. <laughs> like, it's like, don't worry about it. Um, it's good. It's yeah. good to fast yeah i don't like calling it famine that sounds kind of depressing it just rolls off the tongue it does and famine yeah but yeah no it's rolls better off the tongue than alex henner <laughs> god you'll find something better you will someday mm-hmm. and then another goal i don't know just keep it up just keep doing what i'm doing get promoted living the dream no. yeah yeah that's what i'm doing and uh probably mow my lawn i don't know <gasps> Is it still a jungle? Yes. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah. I just I think about it from time to time. Like I, I haven't seen it in person, but I'm like, I wonder it's, how that jungle of a yard's doing. It's pretty bad. I like, just picture you with a machete, like going through it, like no back. Like Scott lifts up his legs really far <laughs> to walk through it. He's <laughs> like, oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah. He's yes. He has to bunny hop through it too sometimes. That I just don't have a good adorable. enough lawnmower to do it, and I. I don't want to hire someone to do it, but now at this point, I think I have to. I have so. no one to offer. My ex-husband still mows my lawn. Dang. <laughs> Can he mow mine? I no. Pay him. No, I don't want to. Yeah, then no. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my God. Uh, uh, actually, there's this really cute neighbor kid that offers to mow my lawn, like, every couple weeks and nice. he always comes like right after i've just or had a mode why does he have terrible timing i don't know because he's 12 <laughs> <laughs> okay one time go. he had to go to football camp and i was like god there goes your seven dollars you could have made <laughs> <laughs> what a dork oh <laughs> man we better end this yeah <laughs> we're done yeah Tune in next week, guys. Yeah, thank you. We'll be around. This has been The Sense. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.